Hi there, everyone. The highlight of Parshat B'Shalach, I think at least it's arguable, that the, har- the highlight is, is Az Yashir, is the song that the Jewish people, Moshe and the Jewish people sing after the water comes crashing down on the Egyptians who chased the Jews through the Yamsuf, the Sea of Reeds. And now they have truly attained freedom from the Egyptians. The Midrash, I think here, is bothered by the question. It doesn't spell it out, but I, I believe that the question here is, why Az Yashir Moshe? Why? Why not just say, waters come crashing down, the Egyptians wash up ashore, and said, then say that Moshe and the Jewish people sang. Why? The Az, and then. Just say, and Moshe and the Jewish people sang. Why, and then? Oftentimes in the Torah, when events follow other events, you don't get the Az, and then we go on to say, no, it'll just say, and such and such happened. Why the Az? So the Midrash says, Hatzadikim, b'mashahein mekantrin, righteous people, with what they rebuke others, with what they criticize of others, bohein mitaknin, with that very same, in that very same manner, they will also fix the situation. So it, what, what this means, is that if criticism was given by a tzadik to someone else, and it turns out that what they said was not accurate, that it was turned out to be not good rebuke. They, Tzadikim, righteous people, use the very same, it's unclear here what, but the, the answer to this is the very same words to fix the problem, to go back to whoever it was that they improperly rebuked and to make amends for it by using a very similar language. The Midrash wants to make this clear. Teidalacha. How do we know this? What's the case that teaches us this? Shibesha Shekinter, Moshe. When Moshe complained and rebuked, you might say, and God gave him some, some feedback, he said, look, back when, when they were in Egypt still, And Moshe had been brought to Egypt after he pleaded with God, I don't know if I'm the right guy for this job. And God said, no, you're going to be great. And go in front of Paro and tell him the following. And then what happens? The workload got worse for the Jewish people. And then Moshe went to God. He says, what did he say? Umeaz, the Pesach describes, Umeaz bati el Paro, from the time that you have, since then, You've had me come in front of Paro, Lidaber Bishmecha, to speak in your name, etc., etc. He has made it worse for the Jewish people. But he used the word Az, Ume Az Bati El Paro, from that time, from then, as I had since come to Paro, it's gotten worse. He criticized God with the word Az. You see, I told you I wasn't the right guy, and it was. So Amar Moshe, so now as they are on the other side of the sea, Moshe says to himself, Amar Moshe, the Oz Sarachti, with the word Oz, with the word then, I sort of, I, I criticized God and I was, it was, it, it, it was kind of putrid and it was, I, it was, I don't feel good about that. So the Oz Ani Mitakein, with the Oz, with that word, then I'm going to fix things. The Omer Shiran. I'm going to say. I'm going to say. I'm going to sing out a song by beginning with this idea of Oz. And the word Oz is not obviously in the song, but he takes the approach of now. I'm going to say, and then we're going to sing. The Lakach Nemar Oz Yashir Moshe. He takes the approach of. I'm not going to wait to sing. I was quick to criticize you, God. I'm going to be quick, an Oz moment to sing to you in this moment. Now, it's, it's cute. This answers the question of why Oz. 
So again, it's a midrash. So this is not probably the simple understanding of it. What are uh, the sages trying to teach us here, though, about this moment? And I think what we learn from it is that this would have been very easy for Moshe to just never go back to that conversation. And just say, look what happened, and the Jewish people are singing, and it's amazing. A really righteous person looks back at their life and can acknowledge the wrong they have done, the things that they have said which were inaccurate, and maybe even now, in retrospect, they see the hurt. Of course God could do this job. He went in front of God and said, you see, it made it worse. Since I came to power, it's all bad. But Moshe is able to look back at his life and to acknowledge what he said was not correct. And that maybe he lacked a little faith in that moment. And now that this has happened and that the Jewish people are now free, he immediately acknowledges and fesses up to what was wrong and what he should not have said. And he fixes it by immediately singing out to God and saying, you can't do anything. Right? They sang, they, they got you, you, God, you can do anything. And a message for us as we read the Shira, as we think about this Midrash, is in our own lives, when something has turned around and we have a new perspective, can we look back and make sure that we go over to the people that maybe we said something to, that we did something to without full perspective and now say, hey, I'm really sorry. Um, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't fully understand what you were doing or what you were saying. I really, now, now I appreciate it. I get it. And we, can, we should be able to do the same with God. If we ever feel frustration towards God to be able to turn that around and to have a better perspective once something else has happened in life. And if we do that, we will feel as people more complete because we're able to repair our relationships and to make amends for the things that we maybe have done wrong and not just enjoy the good that comes at the end, but also enjoy that good while fixing the mistakes we have made prior to that moment. Have a great week, everybody. We'll talk later.